Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. Last episode we took care of getting the Guardian Force Tonberry and getting the kind of Guardian Force Odin. Um, just so you know, I'm going to constantly refer to Tonberry the Guardian Force as Tonberry and Tonberry King. Just deal with it. So right now where I am is I'm standing in front of the um, forest that we went through and had the Dream World sequence with Laguna and also it's the same place where we we're grinding for dragon fangs early in the game. And the reason for that is because now that I have the Guardian Force Tonberry, I went ahead and I brought Zell into my party. He has Irvine's um, junctions. So Tonberry, if we just scroll over to him, he comes with a whole bunch of abilities we want to learn, but also level down and level up are already learned. He already knows them. It allows us to, like you would think, level up and level down an enemy. So in this forest you can encounter the enemy Ochu, who if you level Ochu's up you can draw pain from him. Now Zell of course already has the 100 pain because he has the status um, junctions from Irvine. So I gave Tonberry to Zell. And level up isn't something you put down here in the abilities, it's a command. So you can see I have level up in place of draw. And what we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do is we are going to encounter a Tonberry in the forest. Now, Tonberries can blind you, so the one thing that I want to do first is I want to switch Pain around, and I want to put Pain in his uh, in his um, status defense. Also, I want everyone to have Bio in their elemental defense because higher level uh, Ochus can poison you. So I'm going to go ahead Get everyone with bio. Squall has status attack, which doesn't do anything for us. So we'll put bio into his status defense. Or elemental defense, excuse me. And Renoa still doesn't have a status junction. Oh, and I never put anything back in her elemental defense. So we'll give her bio. And we'll give her life. Where is her life spell? Where is her life spell? There we go. And you can see we have 100 life. And Renoa has 14 Ultima. So, Ultima is going to do wonders for us in our elemental defense. But we'll worry about that later. So now I'm just going to run around in the forest until I encounter an Ochu. They are kind of rare, so if you don't get one, don't worry, eventually you will. So I'm just going to run around here and I'll meet you guys when I have an Ochu. Okay, so here we are. Here is an Ochu. It took me a whole three um, random battles. So now all we're going to do is, well, we can't draw first. We need to have Zell use level up. And um, Zell either, he'll do a, a number of levels. Usually it's like 12 or 20 or something. So Ochu only went up by 12. So unfortunately he doesn't have pain yet, so I have to use level up. And he's going to use this stupid little Ochu dance. So it missed Zell, but it's going to put everyone else into a darkness status ailment. Okay, so now we'll level up again. Now the problem with this Ochu at his high levels, he can actually steal magic from us, which isn't pretty... isn't cool, and I really hope he doesn't steal any triples. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to draw pain from him until uh, both Renoa and Squall have 100 pain along with Zell, and I'll be back once I've drawn my 100 pain. One thing I do want to point out, if you have to level up the Ochu um, twice like I did, he can use his Earthquake attack and it does do kind of a decent amount of damage. So if you want, you can go ahead and uh, throw Quake onto your elemental defense. So I've drawn my 100 pain from the Ochu, and because he decided to put us into... Okay, well anytime Squall wants to use his Limit Break... Oh, actually I think with Darkness he can't. So, real quickly we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna use Magic with Zell, we're gonna use Cura on Squall so he doesn't die, we're gonna quickly 
Eh, not Squall. We're going to use Renilla, just so I can show you. So we're going to use Scan on the Ocho. Ocho, I guess, is more proper, proper pronunciation. And if you look here, because we had to level it up twice, it's level 48, so it has 13,000 HP. So this isn't someone we're going to one-shot. Luckily, Squall is still... Oh, uh, what's he going to steal? Please don't steal a triple. Please don't steal a triple from Zell. Water? Eh, I can deal with. So once you're done with the Ochu, um, you really can't, unfortunately. I don't know of a weakness that he has. And that's just my bad, because I just didn't look it up beforehand. So we'll just pummel him with physical attacks. And, oh, he's going to hit us with Earthquake once more. So le uh, leveling up characters can make them super powerful, and one thing we're going to see in a minute, after we deliver the Killing Stroke... You're done. Night, night. is we get 2,000 experience uh, for killing him, so we're going to go up two levels. So we'll be making use of that information later, but not right now. We received some Ochu tentacles. Our Guardian forces leveled up. Anyone learn anything? Nope. Okay, so real quickly, we're done with that. I'm actually going to go to Junction Zell, because I don't want to get into any random encounters, so we'll put Encounter None back on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head off, find my garden here, there's the garden, we're going to head off to Balam, because that's the point of this episode, is figure out what's going on with Balam, because we haven't been there in a while. Um, just remember if you're going from Central right to Balam, there is that transcontinental railroad across the ocean, so if you head to the northwest corner of the map, um, from where we ended last episode, you should hit the town of Timber, and you'll be able to avoid all the railroad nonsense. So I will meet you guys in Balam. As we approach Balam, we can see Galbar Galbadia <laughs> garden off to the uh, ocean there. So let's just take a look at it real quick. So that's probably not a good idea. So let's head on into Balam, and let's figure out what's going on. One more thing I have to do, take Encounter None off of Zell, put Auto Haste back on. And uh, everyone I gave back shell in life on their elemental defense. So that's that. We can just head on into Balam. And Zell's like, hey, what's going on? Because you can see kind of off to the right, there's a um, Galbadian officer there standing guard. So let's we'll talk to him in a minute. Let's talk to this lady. She's the hotel owner's wife. Oh, apparently they uh, they left the town, came back, and their daughter is in town. But I guess the, they left when before Galbadia got there, and now they can't go in and get her. Oh, they were forced out of the town days ago. Our, da our daughter's still at home, but there's nothing we can do. Oh, the soldiers must be staying in the hotel. That must be why they kicked them out. That's not a nice thing to do. Let's talk to this guy. Under the control of Sorceress Adia, and it's off limits while they conduct their investigation. It's gonna last for several days. Oh no! Oh, and we're next once they're through with our investigation. With their investigation. So you're not just attacking us, you kinda don't recognize us as the people that tried to kill the Sorceress? Alright, let's talk to Zell. He's gonna say, What's going on in there? And you have to kinda. Uh, let's see, if I talk to her again. Yeah, I think talking to her again, talking to Zell again. There we go. So he's finally going to say, you guys look suspicious. What are you doing? Yeah, what's Galbadia doing in a town like this? So Zell says, yeah, I should be let in. I'm a resident. And he's going to repeat that it's off limits. And Zell just wants to throw down and pummel his way through. Squall, on the other hand, has more of a head on his shoulders, so he's going to play a little trick on the guard here. Yeah, can we deliver a message? Aha, they have information on a loan. So the soldier's going to be like, wait a minute, that's who we're looking for. So after uh, trying to bribe us, say, ah, oh, just tell me, tell me everything you know. 
Skull says, ah, we need to confirm something, and he figures out... Oh, uh, yeah, go talk to the commander. She's staying at the hotel. You will be rewarded. You certainly will be. Okay, so our party, we're just going to take Renoa with us for right now. So we'll head on into the town. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to head into Zell's house. So she's not there cooking, so head off here. And she's going to say, oh, Zell, how on earth did you get into the town? And he's going to be like, oh, I was all in the brains. So the soldiers have threatened that the sorceress will burn the town to the ground should there be any disturbance. Oh, she noticed a woman with the army. Maybe it's a sorceress. Oh, gray hair and a patch over one eye. Yeah, that's Fujin. So what you want to do, once we get control of Squall again, you want to talk to this kid. This is Big Bad Rascal. Yo, Zell, I've been practicing my special move just for a day like this. So talk to him again. He'll say, don't worry, it's my special move, so I'll only use it if I have to. And he's going to run off. This is his mother right here doing this weird pose, so we'll talk to her. Zell, if you see my son, just drag him back here, please. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to head to the hotel uh, owner's house and talk to his daughter real quick. So we talk to her, and she'll be like, oh, Mommy and Daddy haven't come back. She can't take it anymore. And I think that's supposed to be crying, so talk to the cat. And I guess this is like one of her grandparents right here. Oh, it's the next door neighbor. A rotten hoot. Okay. Can't do anything there yet. We'll go back in just a second. What you want to do now is you want to head to the hotel. So we'll talk to these soldiers. If it's the commander you're looking for, I have strict orders not to let anyone through. But of course we say we have information about a loan. And they're going to have a little debate. He says, you know that we'll get a salary cut if we let him through it without confirmation. In this army, the salary your salary gets cut based on just how the boss is feeling. <laughs> you can't choose your own boss unless you work for yourself. So Zell says, yo, listen, we have top secret info. Bring the commander out here right away. And they're going to think we're suspicious. But... Uh, now they say have some respect for the captain. The captain's currently on patrol. So the captain will reward us. So we got to find the captain. Oh, and he'll also take full responsibility. So they don't get yelled at by the boss. Talk to these people. No, that's not. That's unfortunate. Oh, I think this is that dude from uh, Garden. Actually, is that? No. Nope, never mind. Okay, so now if we head back to the hotel owner's house, Big Bad Rascal should be there. Yep, so go talk to him, and he's trying to comfort the daughter. Don't cry, I'll sneak out and catch it. Check up on him. She says, oh, but there's a soldier out there. He's like, I'm faster than a speeding bullet. I can outrun anyone. Trust me. Okay, so now we gotta help Big Bad Rascal sneak past the uh, guard. And the way you do that is very, very complicated. Talk to this guard and leave the text box open. And if you look on the left side of the screen, you can see him sneaking past the, uh, the truck that's there. He's going to try to get the attention of the hotel owner. And he's going to talk to him real quick as long as we keep this text box open. Now, if you accidentally close the text box, you won't be able to talk to Big Bad Rascal until we're done with the liberation of Balan. Okay. So now that he's talked to the hotel owner, we can head back in the town, talk to him, and I'll say, Yo, Zell, thanks, man. I was able to talk to the hotel man while you distracted the guard. 
Next time I'll take care of everything. Just give me a holler when you want to leave town. So, we want to leave. So we'll take this current party with us. So now he's distracting the guard, and we can exit Balam. So this is how you exit Balam when Balam's under lockdown if you forgot to do something. Now real quick, we can use Zell's house, because um, we can't use the hotel. So real quickly, I'm going to switch my party up, because depending on who your third person is, whether it's Renoa, Selfie, Irvine, or Quistus, you get a different response. So real quick, I'm just going to bring Irvine in my party, and I'll meet you guys in just a second. Alright, so we got Irvine in our party now, so if we head back into Balam, and we talk to the guard, he'll be like, what are you doing out there? And just say, you let us out. And he'll just let us back in, nice and simple. Alright, so we got Irvine. So now we will head back to Zell's house, and I'm going to show you everyone's reaction uh, in Zell's house, and then we'll worry with finding the captain. So we'll head up here, and Zell's like, well, I get, we can't stay at the hotel. I guess we have no choice. I'm not inviting you guys, it's because we have no choice. So just head on up the stairs. Irvine says, well, it's not very interesting hanging out in a guy's room anyway. But he does like the weapons collection there. And Zell says, oh, they're my grandpa's. Don't even think about it. And Zell says, ah, if you think they're so cool, go ahead and check them out. Irvine being Irvine. Fires one, and Zell says, what the hell do you think you're doing? So that's, uh, that's uh, Zell's room with Irvine. You can save up if you want. Next, I'll be back with someone else. Now the scene with Quistus. She's gonna say, oh, it's so clean for a guy's room. And she's gonna notice the T-board that was allegedly confiscated by faculty. And Zell's like, hey, once you reach my caliber, you gotta have more than one. And Quistus is gonna tell us a funny story. Zell's famous incident. Zell was riding his T-board in the hallways of garden, made a sharp turn, and went straight into the women's restroom. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, what what that's the story. If you bring Quistus into the room with you, now selfies in Zell's room, and selfie, hey, flopping right down there on Zell's bed. Zell, why are you mad that she's on your bed? A pretty girl on your bed? That's not a bad thing. Oh, wow. Anal, huh? I'm starting to like a uh, selfie here. <laughs> you should feel honored that a very, very cute girl sat on your bed, you know? He should thank me, right, Squall? And you can say whatever. I'm going to say maybe you're right. I'm going to play along with selfie. Come on, Zell. Maybe this is a Brazzers episode. You should take advantage of this. Yeah, if you say the other option, Selfie basically says, Okay, fine. And she says, uh, Zell and Squall go down a level, and I think it actually does drop your seed rank a little bit, but not by one whole level. And finally, we get the scene with Renoa. And Renoa says, hey, is that your grandfather, Zell? Yep, and he's the person Zell looks up to the most. Oh, he played a big role in the last war. The Sorcerer's War. He wasn't just strong, he knew when to attack, when to retreat. Any kind of situation, he maintained his composure and stayed cool. <laughs> and Squall says, so basically the opposite of you. Hey, Dis. Oh, this did come out in uh, the 90s, so I guess Dis was still used. Erino says it's probably none of my business, but maybe you're trying to be a little too cool there, Squall. All right. So that's pretty much, uh, yeah, show more passion like Zell. 
That's pretty much uh, just the different responses you get when you go to Zell's room if you need to rest up. So now we will continue on with actually um, liberating Balam. So first things first, we need to find the captain. So to find the captain, the only way you probably figure this out is by exploring every inch of the town. You need to head to the docks. You can talk to that guy squatting down for tips. Uh, I'm going to ignore him for now. So we'll talk to this guy, and he says, All I do is just crouch all day and look for clues. Alone's possessions, some scent for the dog to go by. So we'll talk to this soldier. Oh, the captain? Yeah, he was just fishing here. He caught a few and got really excited. Said he was going to eat them right away. Alright. So now we have to head back to Zell's house, because apparently that's where he's going to cook the fish. You know, originally I wouldn't think about it being too bad being trapped in Balam, but then I remember Balam doesn't even have, a, even have a pub. Unless there's one we can't see in the hotel. That would kind of suck. So you can see that there's kind of like smoke coming from Zell's house right there. And it's a little hazy in here, so let's talk to his mother. A man came in here and asked if he could use the kitchen. I think they cook some fish. The whole room is filled with a strange odor. Okay. Now that we got the odor of the fish on us, let's go talk to the, uh, dog. So we'll head all the way back to the docks. Yeah, I don't know, maybe there is a pub in the uh, hotel that we just can't see. Or maybe that's the pub over there. I don't know. So let's just talk to the dog. And now we have to follow him. And if you talk to the soldier after uh, talking to the dog, he'll be like, What the hell? What scent do you have on you that the dog is smelling? So we'll just follow the dog. Keep following the dog as he goes over here. And he ran into the station, so let's head into the station. Oh, it's Ragin! And the dog's chasing Ragin! So, you can talk to these guys right here. The one soldier who's laying down says flower fields. And the other one is calling for his grandma. And they both look really kind of sick, so maybe they shouldn't have eaten the fish. Alright, so now we'll head back to the uh, hotel, which is where Ragin is. Maybe they can tell us who the captain and the commander are. And the other soldiers stay, say, stand back, this could be dangerous. And the commander kicks Ragin out. So the commander is actually Fujin, and the captain is Ragin. Now, if you want, you could put Mug on your, um, as an ability before this uh, dialogue. I don't really care. You can try to Mug multiple strength ups. Uh, unfortunately for me, I'm going to probably one-shot Fujin and Regen, so... Yep. So he's going to say, ah, oh, we got to calm down Fujin. And Zell's like, Regen? The hell are you doing, dude? I like it. Zell goes, we're here to liberate Balam, you know? I, I mean, we're here to liberate Balam. So I first said to give you guys a whooping if you saw us again. You soldiers, help me out. Oh no. I'm so super scared. Alright, so we'll have Renoa take out one of the guards. Yep, nicely done. We'll have Zell take out the other guard. And we'll have Squall take out Ragin. Oh, apparently I had Renoa hit Ragin. Eh, not, not too bad. So he's gonna hit Squall, and Squall's gonna be like, and... Fuck off. Physical attacks work perfectly fine on Ragin. Ugh, you got me, you know. Potion and a strength up. 12 AP. Siren learned something. Yay. So now the commander is going to get a whooping too. So we follow Zell into the hotel. So 
So I guess you're the commander. Pack your bags and get the hell out of Balaam. That's right, baby. Now we're Cypher and the Sorceress. We're gonna take care of this all right now. Two discs from the end. Yeah, Fujin, it looks like you're on your own. Are you still willing to fight? And apparently we didn't uh, do enough damage to Ragin. He's gonna come back into the fight. Actually, feel a lot better, you know? Oh, you feel invincible. Yeah, we'll see how you feel in a little bit. Okay, so now it's Ragin and Fujin together. Uh, the first thing you want to do in this fight is you want to draw from Fujin. So we'll have Renoa draw Pandemona. It's a new guardian force that we're going to acquire. And now we'll have Zell hit Ragin. Maybe I'll get a critical. Nope, but he does silence him. And yeah, Quistus, er, Fujin can use Zan. She does have an attack that can reduce everyone's HP to 1. So we'll hit her once with Squall and that'll be enough. Done. Over. Okay, bye. So hopefully Zell and uh, Renoa hitting region once each will take care of them. You done? You want more? Alright. Oh, wow. You don't hit us with your special. 500 damage. And you're done too. Oh, I missed my critical. Alright, we'll just keep pounding them with physical attacks, um, but you want to take care of Fujin first because of her special attack that can do um, reduce everyone's HP to one. Oh, and yep, of course he uses a high potion on himself. Wow, this is so weird. I actually one-shotted both of them on my playthrough. Yeah, but you can have 3,000 damage and you're done now too. So for defeating Fujin and Ragin, we get a Mega Elixir, another Strength Up, and Combat King number 2. We also get 20 AP. Oh, and Carbuncle learns Status Defense Junction, and we acquired Pandemona. And of course, they're not taking orders from the Sorceress. Like they said earlier, there was Cypher. Always have been, always will be. Yep, they're on Cypher's side. Yeah, this isn't an internal garden conflict. It's an external garden con uh, conflict. And they're going to say they can't back out because their Cypher's really only his uh, true friends. So Zell says if you guys stand behind him that much... Tell Cypher to stop this nonsense. And they're just going to reiterate they're behind Cypher all the way, and Squall's going to say, So just so to make this clear, you want nothing to do with the garden? And everyone's going to be kind of like, uh, kind of hurts to uh, talk about this. Yeah, we're just going to let them go, Renoa. And Regen says it's kind of painful, and Fujin gives him a nice little kick to the shins. And they're both going to take off, and Galbadia Garden is going to be gone when we're done. Renoa says, I feel sad. And Squall says, friend or foe. It all comes down to circumstance. Oh, Squall actually is feeling a little pang of uh, regret or sadness. And says, let's go. Okay, so Quista says, hey, where are we going next? Well, someone's feeling a little better, and Selfie wants to go check out Trebia Garden. Yep, can we go to Trebia Garden? It's like in the mountains, so maybe the sorceress will leave it alone. But maybe, you know? And Squall's like, oh yeah, that's why she'd want to go there. And Squall says, I'll keep that in mind. That is where you're supposed to go to continue on with the storyline. 
So I'm gonna talk to Nita. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we're not gonna go to Trivia Garden. We're gonna play more Triple Triad. So just make your party, land the garden. I'm actually gonna save out here real quick. Now that we've liberated the town of Blom, the Queen of Cards is back. So that Chickabo card that we got last two episodes ago, why don't we lose it to her? So we'll challenge her. Nope, we're not using the direct rule. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, difference, that works. So let's get the Chickabo card. Let's get a bunch of crappy cards. And her cards are so bad, you can actually beat her, which is annoying. Put Chickabo in the middle, she'll flip it. So we'll put a Geezerd right here. Let's see. It's a three, so we won't flip that, so we'll put that guy right there. Put this guy right here. All right, eight to two, she'll take all my crappy cards. Well, four of them at least. All right, so let's see. Lost the Chickabo card, lost these cards, which I don't care about. Hopefully she's heading to Dillette. Ah, nice. First try. Remember, if she says she's heading to Galbadia, do a soft reset and just keep losing the card uh, to her until she goes to Delette. Now, we could head to Delette and talk to her real quick, but there's another person that we want to talk to first. You can see here is the hotel owner with his daughter. He says, ah, come to the Blue Balam Hotel where the sea breeze will take you away. How's that for a catch line? Zell says not, or he says not in a million years would we be able to come up with something better. <laughs> and Zell says, "Blow it out your rear." And the hotel owner says, "Blow, that's it, blow." Talk to him again, and he says, "Where the sea breeze will blow you away." So now that we've helped him with his catchphrase, let's play him, and let's get a card from him. Nope, we're not using the direct rule. Now, some reason this happens, for some reason, when you play uh, the Queen of Cards using the difference rule, everyone will play direct. So I'm just going to keep quitting until he stops. Stop asking to use the goddamn direct rule. Okay, I'm going to leave town and come back and he should stop uh, trying to use the direct rule. Okay, so I took care of Direct. Uh, by the way, apparently at this point in the game, if you play the Queen of Cards with the Difference Trading Rule, apparently you will play people with the Direct Rule, even though you didn't play the Direct Rule. So I played her with the All Trading Rule, and now I'm playing people with the Difference Trading Rule. Anyway, that's really stupid, so let's just play this guy in cards. Oh, I was so annoying, I had to go back, and I had to re-lose my card to her, and it took about five attempts before she would move to Dillette. I was like, ooh, I did it first time out of the... Yep. That happened. So you can see he has the Pandemona card there, up uh, in the upper left, and I forgot about the fact the Pandemona card can flip that. So let's, uh, let's see here. Let's see. Thank you very much. I'll flip both of you. And a draw. Okay, here's take two of the Pandemona card. Played up there, good. We'll play Cypher up here. You can see he's a slightly more intelligent card player, too. Play your damn card. Alright, so let's see if I can play Renoa. Uh, eh, why not? We'll see what happens. I'm gonna flip Renoa, I'll flip this, and now we'll just keep playing the game of flips. Let's see. So if I go right here, I win. Yay, fun. I win, I will take the Pandemona card and the Marlboro, actually. 
No, I don't want the Marlboro card. I want the Chimera card. So we got Panda Bonus card. Okay, so that's everything we can do in Balam for right now. Next, I'm going to meet you guys in Dillette. Here we are in the Dalit pub, and here is the Queen of Cards. We don't want to play her in cards, we just want to talk to her. Ask her about her artist father. And she says, I gave the Chocobo card I acquired on my last trip to my son. Father made a chubby Chocobo card somewhere in Balam Garden. And if she can get her hands on an Alexander card, her father can paint a new card. Well, we're not going to have the Alexander card for quite some time. So I will head back to Balam Garden, I will show you where to get the Chubby Chocobo card, and um, I'll get the Chocobo card off screen. We're back in Balam Garden, so if you take the elevator all the way to the first floor, and then at the directory screen, if you head off to the right, there may just be someone sitting right here. And he's not right here, so all you need to do is actually, no that's not him, just exit the screen re-enter the screen and just do that until he shows up and there he is only took me about five attempts our seed rank went up by one so we're going to challenge him to a card game and this is the guy with the chubby chocobo card And, of course, he's not playing it, so I'll be back once he's finally playing the Chubby Chocobo card. So he's finally using the Chubby Chocobo card. It took about ten games for him to actually use it, so if he doesn't use it at first, don't get discouraged. Oh, thank you. I think we'll just win this card game after your first move. Thank you very much. So now we just need to play smart. Let's see. They can't take that. Well, they can take it with their card back. Okay, 7-3, to three, not bad. So we'll take Chubby Chocobo, Mesmerize, yeah, Funguar, and Blorba. Okay. So now that I got the Chubby Chocobo card, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, except for some C tests I'm going to take. I am going to take those on screen, but if you don't want to watch them, that's all I'm going to be doing. Uh, so I will actually uh, give my ending message here. Uh, next episode, we're going to be heading on to Trebia Garden and seeing what's going on up there. So like I said, I'm just going to take some seed tests, uh, so watch if you want. But if you don't, thanks for watching. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Level 5 test. Let's see. So it's going to be a no. That's no. That's no. That's true. That's true. No. Uh, I think that's no. And then, yep. Yep. And yes. Alright. Up to level 19, we'll take another one. Yeah, we'll just take one more and we'll go up to level 20. I'm tired. I have a lot of editing to do in this video. Alright, so level 6 test. Zell's weapons or gloves? Yes. Can still summon a Guardian Force when silenced? Nope. If it can learn the fire magic refine ability, yes. More than one GF is junctioned with the same ability. The effect remains the same. That is true. Number five, all status changes return to normal after battle. That is not true. Let's see, you can use the attack and draw commands without junctioning a guardian force. Well, you can use attack, but you can't use draw, so we're going to say no. Uh, let's see, when you set Squall's Gunblade to auto, there is no need to press B6, that's true. The Mage stat determines the strength and effectiveness of magic, that's true. When using auto to junction, you can only choose from attack or defense, that's not true. And a Grant uses sleep attacks, that's true. Alright, so seed rank level 20. Alright, so that's all I'm going to do for now. If you guys want to see more seed ranks, or if you want me to get my seed rank up to A rank, just let me know and I'll do it. Alright, so now for those of you that stuck through those two C-tests, I will see you guys next time.